Technology is a people-intensive enterprise. A front-end investment in not only the technologies, quad technologies, but more so the human resources and the way you shape and organize those human resources to act as, in a sense, your tribune for technology as you try to take a school uh, into the middle of the 21st century, and in your case, a school network, effectively. It's a very different process when you try to transform the old. There are certain inertial characteristics, particularly that successful institutions have, that uh, resist change. And what's so exciting and interesting about the Avenues Project is the notion that you could actually begin uh, planning from the ground up. At the same time as the opportunity is, is extraordinary and, uh, and uh, exciting and challenging, Inertia still exists. It's in the souls of the people who create the institution. So it requires a lot of self-awareness. It takes a lot to uh, get people who have been very successful at uh, what they've been doing for a very long time and say, here are new possibilities. Very hard to get them to adapt to those new possibilities, but essentially still have the same agenda that they've always had. So how do you get people to bracket, to gain some epistemological dis distance from the mindset that they've walked through their lives with, to really begin to develop the flexibility to adapt to all the new, uh, the new possibilities? You can't um, build the structure of your school. And I'm thinking of the school as effectively a network uh, of what we would have classically called schools that are really now nodes on that network without making a very serious investment in the people who will act as the group that control and direct the media in conjunction with the academic leadership of the institution. They have to be very close. And certain categories that we grew up with and that many of you grew up with that we hold sacred, the notion that there is a library in a school, for instance, well, it's really not true anymore, whether it's a university or a school. A school of the future or a school of the present that can begin from scratch will much more likely be better described as a school within a library, since the library will be ubiquitous. And the library more and more has had to think of itself as providing a range of tools that really are completely new. The old critical path was you go into the library, you you look for the books you need, you use the bibliographical resources, you talk to a research librarian, you get some help with the paper you're working on, then you go off someplace else and you deploy a completely different set of tools in order to do your work. And if you're somebody who ultimately has to produce a final work, you, you employ, you move out of the analytic and synthesis environment and you move into something that we could call, even for young people, a publishing environment, which has a whole other different set of criteria and tools. Now, all of those tools are really part of one critical path, and they all have as the common platform the digital world. So it's more and more the case that libraries are trying to take responsibility for the digital tools you will use to, in fact, um, aggregate your bibliographies, to do your research, to create your annotations, to create what is the contemporary counterpart of the old note card, and also taking responsibility for the actual publication you create, whether the publication is in response to a class that someone is running or whether the publication is uh, something you're doing with a group of other students and requires some kind of mediating technology to allow you to work on a common project uh, digitally at a distance. So the word library uh, is, is a word that you really need to continually challenge as you begin to think about developing your school. And if I were creating a school from scratch, I would really be thinking carefully about how I merge my technology services, providing some kind of a balance wheel to process what's emergent and what's new, not subjecting yourself to fadism, but not 
allowing yourself to become a victim of inertia by committing to some kind of la la learning management system that uh, in six months to, to a year and a half will seem as if it's passe and, and not useful.